Hey! Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is Star Mystic, and it is a blessed day. Welcome back. We got the nice smoke on our Palo Santo going. Hey, y'all. Yeah, this is feeling real nice right now. You know the vibes. Shift girl, I'm back with another video for you guys. And today is Pisces. Yes, Pisces. The finale of the uh, water signs, all right, for this week. So thank you guys again so much for all the love, all the support. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you have not done so, please subscribe so you can tap into this amazing energy, okay? And I can vibe with you. You can vibe with me. And we can learn and grow together. So I'm really excited to do uh, this reading for Pisces, okay? And I also wanted to let you guys know that I created playlists uh, for your convenience. And I organized it based on the elements. So fire signs, air signs, water signs, earth signs. I'm putting all of y'all videos in the assigned playlist so you can uh you can organize the videos that we got going on here so this week i'm gonna be working on doing some different spreads for you guys and some different video topics also so please be sure to look out for that and hit the notifications okay so you can see when i'm uh, posting my latest videos pisces what's really good all right Pisces, y'all know I got a special little relationship with y'all. All right. So I'm going to be doing uh, the spread a little different today. So for Pisces, I'm going to do your energy. Okay, over here on this side, the energy that you are in now. And then over here, I want to discuss or tap into the energies around you or what you need to know moving forward to move forward. Okay. Okay. So let's give this a try. Let's get into it. Have some fun with it. So again, you guys know these are general readings. All right, so this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Okay, this could be past energy, something that you've gone through already, present energy, or future. Okay? And as you know, also, time is fluid. So I trust that when you see this video or you get this message, it is the correct time for you to receive it. All right, um, let's see what else. That's about it. Um, oh, yes, and if you don't resonate, if this does not resonate, I hope that at the very least that there's something that you can take away from the message in this video, okay? All right, so as far as your crystals are concerned, I'll be honest with you, Pisces, I was drawn to all my white crystals, all white clean like clear this amazing piece of angel aura light angel i'm sorry i'm messing up the name ain't it angel yep i mean this is beautiful angel aura light i believe i think so selenite right and this awesome piece of white zeolite i believe white zeolite all right so this is a very very calming soothing um energy from this crystal it's very soft very soothing literally like water like the ocean like a cool breeze um it's very peaceful it helps you uh with peaceful sleep and it's also known to help with physical addiction okay and soothing of the physical body pretty dope crystal so yeah that's about it pisces so i'm feeling like you guys need cleansing all right some type of pur purification going on and on the priest shuffle the ten of swords came out twice in two different decks so all right so let's get into the vibe Do a little sound off Clear the energy for our Pisces collective. Okay, let's get into it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you so much. 
and I really hope that you are having fun you have some type of enjoyment when you're kicking it with me and definitely hope that you're getting some message and some comfort <sighs> excuse me y'all Let's clear the energy. Let's clear the energy here so we can get into this Pisces Collective. All right. All right, Universe Angels. Ooh, Most High God. Spirit Guides Angels. What are some messages for the Pisces Collective? What do the Pisces need to know? One time, what are the messages for the Pisces Collective? What do the Pisces need to know? What is the message for the Pisces Collective? For the universe? What do the Pisces need to know? Third house, making sure nothing flipped over. Okay. I feel like I'm missing a card. This is so weird. Let me just go one more time. I'm sorry, y'all. This is weird. That's, that's that Pisces energy. See, look, I'm confused already. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm playing, Spirit. Thank you, Universe. I, you know I love y'all. Come on now. And there it goes. Thank you. I knew it was one more. I just knew it. Thank you. And no, I'm not forcing it, y'all. I really felt it. Like, I really felt like there was three cards. I'm like, where, where is it? Yeah, I'm sorry. Just leave me be. Bottom of the deck is Mars. And the seventh house. This area of your life is about long-term, significant partners, romantic business, or family. And Mars, your physical any. I mean, come on, this, this, I feel like collectively we all just really have been going through a lot of the similar, similar things, Pisces. So, you, you know, you're not exempt. You're definitely going through this tower moment. Uranus, this is big, deep changes, okay? I think a lot of us are just, excuse me, awakening, a deep awakening, okay? On, on, just on a collective level, spiritually psychologically you know we are really waking up and breaking out of these old paradigms of these old thought patterns it's yeah so your potential for sudden change enlightenment and awakening that's that uranus energy that's that tower energy so pisces this is telling me that you're going through or you have gone through just a lot of groundbreaking changes okay the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. All right. That's that Saturn energy. Okay. So the Saturn with the Uranus is really speaking of the lessons that are a part of these massive changes in your life. Okay. I feel like the universe is saying, Pisces, to make sure that you are getting the lessons, okay, that you're supposed to learn. You, you have to make sure that you're actually um, learning and receiving the experience and not just trying to go through it and forget about it like it never happened, okay? Then you have Capricorn energy. Finally, okay, another earth sign popping on out this deck. So Capricorn, so interesting on the pre-shuffle, Virgo came out, all right? So now you have Capricorn energy. So the energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition. Yeah, and cautious ambition. So what I was interesting that Car said that because what I was getting on the pre-shuffle uh, Pisces is that you guys work very hard. Okay, you work very hard. You are not afraid to put in work. All right. A lot of work, hard, serious work. And that's definitely Capricorn energy. 
okay you guys have a lot of potential a lot of ambition sometimes it gets um redirected if you will because you tend to care for others more than yourself or you kind of reprioritize you know your goals in that regard but you can have a very serious energy a bit materialistic um but most definitely 100 percent hard working all right so Okay, so what this is telling me, this Capricorn energy, this Saturn energy, this Uranus energy, okay, this Capricorn energy is really speaking to me, just this earthly tone here is speaking of your resilience, okay, Pisces, because that goat is known for being so strong and so strategic and just so, you know how they just scale the top of those mountains, almost frightened you look they just look like they're gonna fall but they're made for this okay they're in their element like they are not afraid and you know i think the universe is really speaking of your resilience and your strength you know don't get it twisted pisces you know a lot of times you're look, looked at as like the little baby water sign and, you know, you're always in love and you're always struggling emotionally, you know, but there's a lot of strength there. There's a, there's a lot of strength there, okay? All right, so big changes, awakening, resilience, struggles, all that. All right, Pisces coming in with the... <laughs> coming in with it all right let's get some wisdom of the oracle guys and uh see what's going on here okay all right universe any other messages for the pisces collective what else do they need to know any other messages for the pisces collective what else do they need to know all right then i'm gonna read this before we move forward I'm going to need a sip of coffee on this one. Mm -mm. All right, Pisces, come on now. At the bottom of the deck, you have why. And ironically, deep knowing. <laughs> the universe spirit said, don't ask questions when you already know the answer to them. <laughs> and that's that. No, i so whenever I see this card, the book always stands out to me, okay? So this makes me feel like you're just troubled and you are asking or you're in a state of like, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why do I feel orphaned? Why do I feel left out? Why do I feel like I'm all alone on the top of this mountain? Okay, five challenges, okay, um, changes, some chaos. So Pisces, this is telling me that there was a time that you felt left out, completely alone, maybe abandoned by a situation, by a person, okay? There's a lot of pain here. But... Going back to that deep knowing at the bottom of the deck, I feel like the universe is really telling you that you know why. And if you don't know why, then this is why this is happening. There's a deep knowing and spirit needs you to know the lesson, to learn the lesson. Recognize the lesson in the trials and the tribulations. Receive the, the word, the knowing in the word, okay? You got to receive the message here that you're supposed to learn, Pisces, okay? There's some conflict and chop the wood on the shuffle. All right. Thank you, Spirit. So, interesting. This is, this is interesting, Pisces. So, I always kind of say with this card that you're building your life back up kind of brick by brick with this energy, this Saturn energy. 
okay and i just find it so interesting that you have building blocks excuse me that fell right over it okay 28 2 and 8 is 10 so this is speaking of uh a lot of endings okay in your life i'm sorry hey siri lower it baseline came in like that we were just on binarial beats like chill i'm sorry um hey siri lower it so you got the building blocks here and this is really speaking of the endings the changes and how you're re rebuilding yourself back up okay So I would just kind of notice this card, how if you see how she's kind of like almost digitized in a way, like she's falling together, she's changing. She's literally changing. All right, Pisces. So I really feel like this is the universe changing you from the inside out. Okay. And then you have, to be fair, then you have to be fair, which is almost like this justice or this Libra type energy. And this is over the Uranus, okay, which is kind of like that tower, that sudden change, that enlightenment, okay, that awakening. All right, three and eight is 11. That's a master number, okay, it's a master healing number. So this is really making me feel like this is just destined, Pisces. This is destined. This is your course. All right. So your life fell apart and came back together again because it was supposed to. All right. We There are lessons we just have to learn. There's things that we do and consequences and blessings. Okay. This is just to be fair, you this is just what you had to go through, what you have to go through. Pisces, you have to go through it and you have to build yourself up. You can't stay in this orphaned energy. Okay, why me? Instead of asking why, you need to be building yourself up from the inside out. Okay. And make the life, create the life that you want. So let's go in with some tarot, Pisces, and get some more clarification. Okay, calm down. So, hold on one second. Hey, Siri, pause. Because we're dropping the ball on the playlist today. It's, it's got to be readjusted. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to excuse me. Uh -uh. Not the vibe. So, the high priestess. Number two, high priestess balance yin and yang. Okay. Deep knowing. Pisces, you are incredibly spiritual. You guys are just so, so tapped in. Like, it's crazy. So, that deep knowing under, you know, there's a lot that you know. Okay, there's just so much you can tap into. And I know that it's really hard to translate that into this 3D world, into this physical world with all of the... It's just hard. I get it. I get it. You got the Four of Wands in reverse here. Um, I typically don't really read reversals too much like that. Um, I keep my deck in the upright position because I prefer that energy, me personally. But I do read reversals because I feel like if a card <laughs> is needs to be reversed or that energy is going to be translated from spirit, and it's going to find a way to come in reverse, you know, period. So anyway, I do feel like there was a breakdown in some type of family structure. The Four of Wands speaks of union. Um uh marriage union uh domestic life and i do feel like there was some type of breakdown there pisces um you felt abandoned by a situation 
okay but with the high priestess there i feel like there was there is a deep knowing that there is there is a deep understanding that I don't think that you verbally communicated that yet because the high priestess is the energy of kind of keeping things to yourself. So I feel like you've either you're learning or you have acquired some truths, but you are not communicating them yet. So then you have the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck, which is kind of a the energy of kind of like lying cheating maybe somebody trying to get things over on you or maybe you being in this energy and then at the behind that is the world so that speaks of completion the end of cycles all right and there's aquarius scorpio taurus leo energy here all right Okay, so universe, tell us some more. Uh, tell me more about the energy that Pisces is in now. Tell us more about the energy that Pisces is in now. Tell us about the Pisces collective. Thank you. All right, so we've got the three of pentacles. And death at the bottom of the deck, which is uh, another Scorpionic card. Three of Pentacles with this with the death behind it is making me feel like um, there were some type of obligations or projects or some type of agreements, partnerships in that regards, like working together type things that you are no longer a part of or that does not serve you okay so that's definitely again is speaking to the breakdown in some type of agreement okay or uh partnership and then you have the seven of cups with the queen of pentacles okay so that makes me feel like you have a lot of responsibilities that there's a lot going on right now uh, with work, with life, with love, with finances, finances, family. And there, the Seven of Cups does have an air of like confusion, cloudiness about it, not knowing wh where to start or what to choose, which is, a, you know, Pisces, that it's what you struggle with. It's one of the main things that you struggle with. And then the Queen of Pentacles. So this is Earth Energy water energy the queen of pentacles is uh makes me feel like you may be overwhelmed with your home life the queen of pentacles is the the motherly wife energy i feel a lot of nurturing energy here i feel like you're trying to save you know you're working hard with finances and family but I do feel like there's a little air of uh, a bit of an overwhelm here with the Seven of Cups. Okay. Okay. Thank y'all for still being here. 23 minutes and 29 seconds in. Thank you. I appreciate you. Universe, what is the energy around Pisces or what should they know moving forward? What's the energy around Pisces? And what do they need to know? What do they need to know moving forward? What's the energy around Pisces? The Pisces Collective? What's the energy around the Pisces Collective? All right, come on now. <laughs> okay. So then at the bottom of the deck, we got the two of pentacles and the magician. So what this says is that you are doing a lot of uh, budgeting, balancing. You are, you may have a choice between two things. You're trying to weigh your options. Okay, but there's just a lot up in the air right now, Pisces. Okay, so I told y'all that the 10, did I say the 10 of swords or the 10 of wands? Because... The Ten of Swords came out twice for y'all on the pre-shuffle in two different decks and it's here again. And now this is the energy around you. What do you need to know moving forward? And, okay. What do you need to know moving forward? 
Let's take it all the way back. Uranus, enlightenment, sudden change, awakening. Okay? To be fair, as I said, Libra energy, justice energy. Okay? This is part of your past. This is the consequences to your actions and also to your choices. These are the blessings. These are the fruits of your labor. Pisces, we can't take just the light and leave the dark. We have to take it all. Okay, so to be fair, to be fair, we are where we put ourselves, okay? And then literally behind that, you have the justice card that comes out. So that reaffirms this energy. This is that Libra energy, justice energy, to be fair, okay? You might be involved with some legal situations. It may have, some things may have gone in your favor and some things not, Pisces, but you have to understand that that is the way. There is a balance here. There is a balance that must be uh, kept, okay? And so this was the first card out. So this is, again, more of that Capricorn energy. This is more of that Capricorn energy, okay? So, yes, this is speaking of your resilience. This is speaking of also your obsessive tendencies. And I can say that because I'm a Scorpio and we be obsessed in a motherfucker. So, Pisces, y'all be obsessed. Y'all be very obsessed and... This is speaking to some codependencies, okay? Some addictions. There are, there are some addictions and some imbalances around you. Or this is what you need to know to move forward. You've got to address it. You can't say this doesn't exist when it exists. Because the longer you fight it, the longer it's going to win. Because it's not about, okay, you're not there, you're not there, you don't exist. No, no, no. That's not how you beat it. You have to see it. Okay, I see you. I know you're there. You're just doing what you're here to do. This is your purpose. To wreak havoc and cause confusion. You know, that, that's your purpose. So now I see, now I understand I can accept it. Come to peace with it. That's how you change it. Because you got some um, endings here. That I don't think that you've really let go, Pisces. You're obsessed. You can't let it go. You, you can't let it go, all right? Spirit is telling you to be strong. This card also came out on the pre-shuffle in this deck with the Ten of Swords. So this is Leo energy, all right? This is strength. Okay, you may have been dealing with a Leo. You got Leo, you got Capricorn, you got Virgo, you got Libra, okay? Capricorn twice. Libra technically twice, all right, and um, and then you got the uh, the Hermit, which is Virgo, all right. So this is really speaking to me of some depression, Pisces. I feel like this Hermit doesn't usually give me that vibe, but with this Strength card, okay, with the Strength card right next to it. I feel like you were in search of strength, okay? I do feel like you turned completely inward, okay? And did some soul searching, all right? But I do feel like you were in a place of fear and lack and um, the healing process, I don't think, you know, you kind of reached up like a, a, a plateau, like a, a, a wall, all right. And the universe is telling you to be strong. You have to find the courage. You have to find your courage so that you can move forward. And if you're going to be in solitude, then do it in peace. OK, not in, in, in sadness and agony. All right. Thank you so much for these messages, spirit. Thank you all for being here. I really hope this is making sense. I hope this is resonating in some way. What are the other messages for Pisces in regards to this time, in regards to this energy? So now we know the energy that you're in, okay? All right, experience, you're, you're in recovery, okay? You're rebuilding your life. 
and the energy around you is still a bit unbalanced and chaotic and painful. There's a lot of pain around you, Pisces. Okay? Find your balance. All right? If you're building yourself from a new, there's a lot of power in that because you can create what you really want. You don't have to worry about the past. Don't don't think about it anymore. Don't worry, don't revisit, don't bring it. The past is messed up. <laughs> really. The past is not where we're supposed to be. Okay? Moving forward. Be bold and make the first move. Interesting. Okay, universe, thank you. What are some other messages for our beautiful Pisces collection? A collection. <laughs> Collective. What do the Pisces need to know? Thank you, universe. What do the Pisces need to know? What are the other messages for the Pisces collective? Beautiful Pisces. What do the Pisces need to know at this time? What does Pisces need to know? Dang, y'all got more Capricorn energy. What is going on? I knew this one was going to come out. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon and Capricorn. Okay? Now, not for none, this might be a good thing, Pisces, because maybe this is really you letting go of that negative energy, that obsessive energy, that toxic energy, that codependent energy. Okay? That sad, depressed, stagnant energy. Let it go. Let that cycle close. Full moon, bring things to light, illuminate, okay? Charge, refill yourself with energy. Thank you, universe. We are ready for this tough cycle to be over for our Pisces. Please, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Any other messages for the Pisces collective? Is there anything else for them? This one flipped over. Anything else for Pisces? Okay. Bottom of the deck, again, with conclusions are in reach. Another full moon eclipse. Powerful energy. Powerful full moon. Again, illumination. A recharge of energy. An eclipse is powerful, very powerful dynamic energy. And I feel like it's illuminating more than one thing at, at once. Show the world the real you. More full moon energy, Pisces. Come on now. Full moon energy. Take it to the top. Show the world the real you. Don't be afraid. Come on now. The world needs to see you, the real you, not your mask, not the identity that you chose to hide behind. Take it off. We want to see the real you. The universe is saying, show up and show out because you're ready to be seen. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. So when you ask why you, when you want to know why you're in this situation, Pisces, my beautiful collective, there are lessons to learn. And the main way to learn is by testing. By going through it, by learning, you're being tested. Are you going to pass? Are you going to fail? Show the world the real you. Let it go. Let it close. Let the cycle close. Okay? At each point, at each level up, we're going to be tested to make sure that we've learned what we were supposed to learn and how to apply it. Knowledge is not useful in a box, in a mind. That's why we have a voice. That's why we speak. That's why we have the power to do things and to put things into motion, into action. Bring these lessons, bring these messages to life. Thank you, Pisces. This is where we're leaving it at. I love y'all for life. I'm praying, praying for your strength, Pisces. I hope that you get surrounded by love, strength, and guidance. Okay, we love you. Thank y'all so much for rocking with Star Mystic. Thank you. Please like, share, subscribe if you have not already. Hit the notifications so you know when we rocking next. 
Peace, y'all. Blessed day. Love y'all.